Alright guys, Doka on time again, and today's how to build is going to be for both Goten and Tech Trunks. Uh, Intelligence Goten and Tech Trunks. Uh, they both received an EZA um, as part of the Part 2 celebration. So you can go get their EZA medals from the Go Tank Intelligence Go Tanks EZA event. Um, that's probably why Global actually got uh, Go Tanks early, uh, and probably explains why we don't have the Super EZA for the Tech one. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. So both of these units are built the same because they are quite literally almost the exact same unit and i'm not even kidding on that they're pretty much the exact same unit and in all honesty y'all probably realize yeah it's a full dodge build um mostly though it's mostly a full dodge build because they are a defensive based unit um this is one of those times where i would say yeah go ahead uh go with the defensive um uh, equips put some uh more defense equips in there level five plus uh seven eight defense equip it will go a little bit further and it mostly goes a little bit further because these guys don't have a lot of raw defense and um well they do have one issue with them that i have to clearly put into there um now let's just go over their kits then i'll go over their very small little bitty tiny differences um but anyways so as far as their 200 percent leaders go they have basically the same trunks does have a couple more i'll go show those later but um, they both basically have the same exact leaders. And in all honesty, you're only going to run them on like two different, two or three different teams. You're either going to run them on Super Saiyans um, with Super Saiyan Trio or Vegeta, or you're going to run them with Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku on a Majin Buu Saga team. Um, otherwise, I mean, you could run them on like a, uh, a youth saga, or a youth team, uh, maybe for a category mission. Uh, it could be potentially a thing. I don't know if you'll really run them with the STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and I don't really see anybody bothering to use these units over anyone else on the other teams. So, um, going down, they both are a Kamehameha 1, uh, 120 lead, um, and then they're also uh, intelligent f and physical for Goten, and then it would be um, tech and intelligence, I believe, for Trunks. Uh, they both greatly raise attack and defense for one turn, and they both raise allies' attack by 40% on super. Um, they have attack and defense 180, plus a damage reduction received by 50%, a reduced damage received by 50%. So they initially always have 50% damage reduction. Uh, plus additional attack, plus 120, and an additional damage reduction of 30% in performing a super attack if there's an ally whose name is Kid Trunks or Krillin in the same turn. And the same can be said for Trunks, except it would be for Goten or Krillin in the same turn. Uh, they both support Kamehameha category allies, key plus one, and then they get an attack plus 50% and chance for forming a critical hit, plus 20% as the first attacker in a turn. Then they have category allies, key plus two, and then they get attack plus 70% and chance for forming a critical hit, plus 30% as the second attacker in a turn. And then plus an additional attack plus 120% and a 50% chance of performing a crit when performing a super attack, and key plus three as the third attacker in a turn. So basically, they're supporting a Kamehameha category allies, um, and then they're just kind of tanking away, so long as they're on the rotation. So the thing about that is, is that they don't get the other 30% uh, damage reduction until they perform a super attack specifically, so they can't just be doing a normal either. Um, but they do have all of the same links, um, I think, I swear they had different ones, but no, I think they literally share every single link. Yep, all seven links they share, so it's their link batteries to each other. Um, now, one of the obvious glaring differences between the two units is, well, Trunks is on Vegeta family, and Goten is on um, Goku's family. But, in this case, I think Trunks has a couple more options here. Yes, he's actually also on Battle of Wits. Why? I don't know. Um, it's Trunks. Trunks is a little bit smarter in general. Um, they've shown it from time to time that Trunks is uh, not as much of a ditz as, as Goten is. Be it as they may, they are kids. So that means he is on Orange Piccolo's lead, and he is also on Vegeta's um, lead as well. So he does have that, and of course the five guys Goku. Um, I believe that's pretty much it as far as their differences go. Um, oh, it's tech and physical types as part of his leader skill. My bad. 
Um, but yeah, they have the exact same passive otherwise. They have the exact same links. Um, and other than Vegeta's family and Battle of Wits, I don't think there's another category that they differ from. I think it's pretty much the exact same outside of those two. Um, but yeah. I think these, these units are really going to shine when we get the EZAs for the physical and STR Goten and Trunks units. I think once these uh, this EZAs, then we'll really see them coming in and really showing up on Super Saiyans or on Movie Heroes, and they th I think they could be really dominant because of that 80% damage reduction. Now, uh, looking at their, their stats, um, they will be basically the same, um, maybe roughly a little different here. As you can see, the maximum amount of defense they can have with support is going to be like 400k. So unfortunately, that's not very high, and their starter turn defense is pretty low too. Um, less than 200k. So that means it's very hard to agree to put them into slot 1. I don't know how I feel about that, because you want to keep one of them in slot 1. Now, I mean, 50% damage reduction is a good amount. You just got to realize they ain't going to tank much. Which is why I go back to say, you should probably just go ahead and give them defense equips as well as dodge equips if you have the ability to. Um, my, me, myself, I'm running low on dodge um, bronze equips, so I'm going to be giving uh, them a defense orbs as far as their bronze slot goes. Uh, at least for Goten. So Goten can hit 30 dodge, whereas Trunks can only hit uh, 27 at the max. So... But yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it. There's not really much else to say about these two units. Um, they can, you know, 80% damage reduction goes really far. Um, just for some quick mathematics, um, you know, the boss rush mode against Broly on JP, he does a 3 million super. 80% of that 3 million super is 2.4 million. So that means these guys are reducing that damage by 2.4 million. And they're only going to take about uh, 600k. And, you know, with start of turn defense, they only have like, you know, 200. So you're going to take like 400k damage. But if they super, um, if they super attack, I mean, they're pretty much tanking it in all honesty. I mean, you, you'll still take a couple hundred unless you double super. But you're, you're tanking his super attack with these units. So you got to realize if these guys can tank the hardest fight in the game... <laughs> Or the hard, hardest hitting boss in the game, then you know what I mean. What is? They're they're good, you know. <laughs> they're good. It, it's just going to be very situational where you can put one in slot one or slot two, or if you want to play devil's advocate and kind of float off one of the other. Um, it, it's really hard to do that. Like I said, once the physical and STR EZAs for Goten and Trunks come out, we'll start really seeing these two units shine. But until then. You know, 50% damage reduction at the very least, 80% um, if you have them both on the same rotation. I'd say that's pretty good. So, uh, But anyways, guys, let me know how you decided to build these units. Um, and what do you think is going to happen once we get some uh, more Goten Trunks EZAs? Will they get a lot more stonks? Are you going to use them if the physical or STR one EZA pretty soon? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day and a good night.